Entertainer, wrestler, sports hero, and now a politician, and possibly a presidential candidate. It's pretty amazing. We decided in our onset that I'm not going to imitate Jesse. I'm not going to do a Jesse clone. I'm going to play this like I would play this. And that's a nice, that was a, a nice thing for me. It was not so much pressure. And so what I've seen, I've seen the tapes, a few of them, and I've seen what you've probably seen on interviews. Uh, David Letterman, things like that. But that's about it, you know. I, I just play him honest, and I think that's how he would do it. I enjoy wrestling. I enjoy the physicality of it. And I actually got to wrestle in front of 20, 30,000 people and wrestled Bill Goldberg, who's a famous WCW wrestler. I uh, wrestled Chris Canyon, who's another famous WCW wrestler. Eric Bischoff, the uh, executive vice president of WCW, is my boss, and he told me to come and work on the movie, originally just to train the actors. Luckily, Neil Stewart has already wrestled, so I didn't have to train him. At that point, I pretty much became the wrestling choreographer. There's about 16 wrestling scenes. Uh, so I was choreographing that, coordinated, getting a ring here from WCW, getting belts here from WCW. So I became a wrestling coordinator choreographer. Wrestling, um, I think normal people portrayed wrestlers as big dumb idiots and um, I think even some people today still have that assumption that uh, that's all wrestlers are just big dummies and and that and I think Jesse Ventura being elected um, is the best thing that could have happened for wrestling because it just goes to prove that wrestlers aren't just big dummies you know they're they're very smart intelligent human beings I think that you know Jesse winning shows you know that wrestlers are a lot more mainstream than people think and uh, or, or want to admit not only uh, do they watch it, but I think they have more respect for it than they want to let on, too. So he's been a, a big, big bonus for the wrestling business. After two or three, then do this. Okay. And after a couple of those, grab the hands. Uh, I'm a fan. No more than probably anybody else sitting there watching it. But uh, for me, I can appreciate what it really takes, what the guys go through, how bad it actually does hurt when you hit the ground, uh, that it's not just an act that there's a lot of physicality involved, and probably some of the best athletes in the world are involved in professional wrestling. So I can appreciate that. I grew up a fan of Jesse, and he was never a great wrestler, you know? What he did was believable looking, but he didn't do that much compared to today's standards, but he had the charisma, and that's what, that's what got him where he is now. The people in this movie are trying to downplay wrestling, but I'll tell you right now, without wrestling, I don't think Jesse Ventura becomes governor. If he's not the governor, there is no movie. You okay? Yeah, it's kind of different than I'm used to. The last thing you was going to win before it even starts. And how's this for an upset? With 15% of the precincts in, GNN has projected... I think Jesse's a wake-up call to politicians. No more business as usual. People are tired of a used car salesman politician. They want to know if I say, I believe this or that, I really believe that. I might be wrong, but I honestly believe that. And people see that in Jesse. I think whether he's right or wrong, whether I agree with him or disagree with him, he believes in what he says. And I think people, you can't help but admire somebody for that. 